We need a good law enforcer like Sheriff Arpaio who goes after illegal aliens, and we need a good prosecutor like Andrew Thomas who prosecutes them. This takes away the law and will leave Arizona defenseless against illegal, illegal immigration. There's only two people that benefit from Prop 202. Illegal aliens who can now work here and disreputable business people who hire them at cheap wages to outdo their competitors. They're the only people who benefit. If you're not illegal and you aren't a crooked employer, then Prop 202 is not for you. We have to vote no on this proposition. I want to thank uh, Russell and the legislature for passing the law. We can't enforce the law if we don't have a law. And this law has been working uh, fairly well. We've uh, locked up a lot of, uh, I think, 80 or 90 uh, on the employer's sanction as far as uh, false identification, which is a felony. It's really interesting. You, you grab people violating a state law, a felony for stealing other people's identification, if they happen to be illegal, the whole concept changes with the media and everything else. And I become the bad guy. We locked up some illegals that are violating a state felony law. So I, 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 I'm sure if the people understand this, and that's what this is all about, they will uh, vote no. So I highly recommend everyone uh, out there, all the voters that were smart enough to pass the employer sanction. And about this illegal immigration. I think you're right, John, that uh, a lot of employers uh, like higher and cheap labor, but what they have to understand, this is the greatest country in the world, and for anybody to say that Americans will not do the work, you have to import people to do the work illegally, it's ridiculous. We have an economic problem right now. Everybody's waiting to find a job. We're going to give people that have violated the law, criminals, a job? That's ridiculous. So I, once again, vote no, 202. Thank you, good afternoon. Uh, Prop 202 is a fraud on the voters. It is labeled the Stop Illegal Hiring Act. In fact, it would enable illegal hiring. This measure, if passed, would make compliance with E-Verify optional. It would restore the widespread fraudulent practice of using uh, I-9 forms that are full of identity theft and, and uh, fraud. It would do away with anonymous complaints, which our county and as I understand it, a number of other counties now use in implementing and enforcing the employer sanctions law. We have a silent witness uh, hotline that is available for criminal offenses. This would uh, create uh, special protection for employers by doing away with the silent witness component of the employer sanctions law. Arguably, it would require the federal government to take action against employers before uh, state and county authorities could under the Arizona Employer Sanctions Law. That would uh, be a, a terrible setback. The whole reason we have the Employer Sanctions Law, and frankly the reason we're having this conversation and this press conference, is because the federal government will not do its job in enforcing federal immigration laws, and particularly in the employment realm. So uh, just to be very clear and, and very straightforward, because this may be the only opportunity we have to let the voters know the truth about this measure, if this measure is passed, I do not believe you will see any employer sanctions cases. And I'm happy to answer questions when we're finished. Ladies and gentlemen, vote no on Proposition 200. If you look at the opposition, 202, sorry, vote no on 202. If you look at the opposition who have uh, championed the cause of 202, these are the same people that went after Representative Russell Pierce. They had upwards of $500,000 to take him out of the polls. Not only did they try and take him out of the polls, but they tried to assassinate his character to the point where he couldn't show his face in public again. Well, they lost two to one. When they couldn't beat back his bills, they put up the new initiative, 
Prop 202, stop illegal hiring. Do you really think that the people who want employer amnesty and want to take out the people who believe in securing our borders would write an initiative to stop illegal hiring? No. no. <laughs> to the businesses out there that I've talked to who get mad because Sheriff Joe Arpaio and Andy Thomas are following the law, shame on you. They swore an oath to do just that, and that's why you hired them, and that's why you elected them, to uphold the Constitution of the United States and the laws of Arizona. And to the few people out there who believe we shouldn't use the word alien because it represents somebody from another planet, words are very important. If we follow your definitions that aliens are only people from another planet, then I guess alienation is the country that they come from, and alienate is what they had for lunch. Get it straight. They're illegal aliens. They shouldn't be here. They need to go home and come back in here legal, or they need to reside in our jails until they figure it out. Vote no on Prop 202. Thank yeah. you. Defense Corps not only will be on the border for the month of October, but we'll be launching an initiative to educate the voters about the fraud that is Proposition 202. Uh, basically, it's amnesty for employers. We worked hard to get this uh, Safe and Fair Employment Act uh, on the books. It's been working. Attrition through enforcement is working. And we'll continue to support the law. We'll continue to support uh, county attorney, sheriff, and Russell, and this bond, legislative body here who has heard the will of the people. We want the laws enforced. And the Minutemen Civil Defense Corps volunteers will be out there helping to educate voters about, again, about the fraud that Prop 202 is. And, um, you know, we, we just cannot allow this, this fraud. We cannot allow business owners in the Chamber of Commerce of Arizona to spend millions of dollars to dupe the voters into thinking that this is going to make the situation better. Uh, it's a ruse uh, on, the, on the voters, on the taxpayers, and we need to leave this intact, and we need to keep moving forward and secure our borders and uh, create a guest worker program after. I I'm curious why these business owners are not taking this money and reinvesting it in their local communities and into education and vocational programs in this state, rather than trying to dupe the voters into voting for something. Why aren't they investing the money into schools and training uh, the employees that, that, that supposedly they can't find and instead of just trying to uh, dupe the people into allowing them to break the law and to play outside the